preseason's been going really well. Uh, a lot of these guys are been working hard all fall long, uh, ready to go. We're coming off a really uh, strong cross country uh, showing, and uh, the guys feel like they have a lot more to prove. Uh, our track guys have been training since the middle of September. They're just excited to get back on the track uh, and get and get going again. So far this preseason, uh, we've had a bunch of guys uh, like Johnny Fitzsimmons, who's coming off that excellent cross-country season. Uh, he's been raring and ready to go because he's more of a mid-distance guy, so look for him in the 800, 1,000, the mile. Uh, you have uh, Matt Floyd, who's uh, coming off injury, uh, been putting in a lot of hard work. Uh, on the track side, uh, guys like Juan Arango, who's our returning champion from the spring, uh, Phil Canelo, who's been putting in a lot of good work, Schneider Germain. Uh, the list goes on and on uh, of a lot of guys that have just been putting in a lot of work, and I think they're ready to go out there and just uh, surprise the competition and uh, you know show what they've uh, been doing this whole time. Uh, some expectations is just uh, trying to get back into the gist of it. I think the most difficult part uh, that the team is going to see is getting back into the flow of indoor track. You know, we've been training on a 400 meter outdoor track for the past two years, haven't been inside in a while. So the beginning uh, is just going to be getting their feet wet again uh, back on the tr back on a 200 meter track. Uh, the strategy running indoors is much different from running outdoors. So seeing how they're able to, uh, what do you call it, use that strategy to be successful. Uh, some expectations going into the season is just seeing uh, everybody improve as the season goes along, uh, ready for ECC championships mid-February to uh, go out there, give it their best effort, and hopefully get some uh, all-EC and uh, championship performances from them.